Hello everyone. So welcome to my channel. So in this video, we will be going with our lead code weekly challenge, and in that we will be do going ahead with the third question of the weekly challenge, that is longest night survey. So as per the question name, it says longest night survey. So for night, surely there would be some rules. And for survey, we all know that survey is basically a particular portion of an array where all the elements are consecutive in nature so we can't miss any element in between of that particular array so then only it becomes a subarray so that thing we know now for nice they will be giving some conditions that we are required to figure out and according to we are required to design an algorithm and for longest in that algorithm only we are required to check that how we are required to make a longest subarray with nice conditions which are being given to us so let us go ahead with a question that how we are required to do this so we are given an array num consisting of all positive integers so we want uh, so the range of this uh, this numbers are all positive that is 0 to uh, infinity and now not infinity there would be some range we call as a array of num nice so now there are conditions that what nice exactly means if the bitwise and of every pair of elements that are in different position in this subarray is equal to 0 so that simply means that whatever elements which we are given with say this is the subarray being given to us so when we do bitwise and what does basically indicate so is 1 and 1 right so bitwise and for this particular would be one only but bitwise and for this would be zero right bitwise and for this particular so like this only we are required to figure out the bitwise and means when two is there then we are required to check for how two is basically made so in a 32 bit scenario two is basically made as 2 raised to power 0 and then 2 raised to power 1 right so the bits which are being here so like this only 0 1 and 0 0 like these bits are there and one is basically made as we all know two raised to power zero so basically like this so when we do bitwise and of this particular 0 1 it would be 0 1 0 0 0 0, 0 and so on so basically 2 and 1 is equal to 0 only right but now let us check for 3 so for 3 is it to uh, the thing is that what shall we array uh, sub array we will be taking in that sub array we are required to check for each and every element which is being present so when we do bitwise and with this three right so for three how our three is basically like so it will be 2 raised to power 0 and 2 raised to power 1 uh, 0 uh, here it will be uh, basically the thing is for a 2 raised to power 0 2 raised to power 1 2 raised to power 2 right so the thing is that this is basically one so here one would be on and two raised to power one that would be also on and here so on it would be off so this is for three and for one we already know so it would be zero 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 and one right so when we do bit by and so it will come out to be one because when we do and with this it will be one only right so that's why if we choose three also in our this array right so our possible sub array is this one only in the whole array so this is a thing which we are required to figure out in this question so now let us go ahead what are the constraints for our question so basically the constraints which are being given to us is 10 to the power 5 right so that simply means that we can't take any solution which go beyond n square or goes up to n square means something in the range of n n log n or something in between this n square so till this only we can uh, make a solution so even if we go ahead for n square solution then also we would be required to go in such a manner that in worst case scenario only it reaches to n square but it stays in the range of n to n square only means not exceeds the n square else it will give us clearly now the thing is for this this uh, for this particular that it is 10 raised to power 9 so it already comes in our range so we can go ahead with this so this was all for the constraint 
and i've already explained the solution till now now let us to try run with an example so here we are given with this right 1 and 3 would be surely as you have already uh, checked it is already one but so that's why we'll discard this one because the thing is we are required with a sub array not sub sequence so if 1 and 3 consecutives are not uh, giving us as the zero and then we won't proceed so now we will be starting from 3 So now three and its next element that is eight. So if we check for the same, it comes out to be zero. And then we are selected with this. So now we'll grow our array more, and then we will check for forty-eight also. And then we go and with forty-eight, then it also comes out to be zero only. So yeah, it satisfies. Then it's good. So now we will next check for a next element three and ten. But when we do with three and ten, it comes out to be one. so because of this only we will discard this then but now comes the part that now our sub array is 3 8 40 8 but still it is pending for 8 and 48 right so we'll next check for 8 and 48 and here we check so it comes out to be zero so this simply represent that this is a valid sub array and then we will update our answer as 3 which is already the required answer so like this only we get our answer now let us check for this 3 and 1 so here we check 3 and 1 so it was already 1 as we had already checked so we will discard 3 here and we'll start with 1 so let us check with 5 and uh, 2 0 2 1 2 2 so for 5 it is 4 plus 1 right so this bit would be set this would be off and this bit would be set so this is for 5 and for 1 we already know it is this one right so here if we check if we do and with this it will come out to be 1 so now 1 is also discarded so now we will check for 5 and 11 so that's the scenario so for 11 if we check basically i don't know the means what is the representation for this thing i don't remember so that's why i do like this so it is 1 2 4 2 3 that is 8 right so 8 and 8 and 4 that would be 12 8 and 2 that would be 10 right yeah so this one that is 8 and then 2 that would be 10 and then 1 we require so it becomes 11 so this is a representation for 11 and this was representation for 5 but when we do 5 and 11 so you can clearly see that this and this are set so that's why it will again be one so again we will be discarding this five now comes the part for 13 and 11 so i hope so this will give us answer because output is one right so for this particular scenario we check 11 and 13 so in 13 if we check then 2 raised to power 3 2 raised to power 2 2 raised to power 1 2 raised to power 0 right and then if uh, 3 then 2 raised to power 4 that is 16 right so if we check for the this one so here you can clearly see that that would be 8 and then here it 8 and 4 okay that will be simply 12 right so these would be set and then this would be set so here you can clearly see that again yeah again then all of them are set 1 and 1 and so that simply represent that we will be discarding 11 right so now only 13 is the element which is being left with us so this would be our answer so that is the thing which we are required to figure out that if any one is not our answer then a single digit would be our answer so like this only we are required to figure out these things but now comes the part that what we will be doing and with every element rather than let us go ahead with some more easier solution so for that thing only what we can do is we uh, actually there is one formula that is a plus b equals to a or b plus a and b multiplied by 2 so by this formula the thing is that we want this to be zero right and when this becomes zero then this and this will be equal right so this is the only thing this we are required to check in this question that when this condition becomes true 
then that simply means that we can consider this element if that doesn't becomes true then surely we need to discard it so that is the thing which we will be doing here so this is the concept we which we will be using but the time complexity for this particular question and the space complexity because we won't be using an extra space so it will become order of 1 but the time complexity that would be an actual in worst case scenario it will go to n square but the test cases of the solution is basically not in that sense that it will let us to go n square so that's why so the time complexity will reach till n log n only so this is as per the uh, test cases which is being given to us so now let me show you the uh, code walk through for the same so here comes the part the answer as it is and then here we are using two loop and in these two loops we are going till the whole area size and then first we are taking length one because i had already shown that if there is nothing to be selected then there would be at least one element which will be selected so that's why we are taking length one and then we'll we are taking the first element itself in a temporary and with which we will be basically comparing so now we will be going ahead the just the next element from uh, which we are required to compare and for that purpose here we will be checking that from now only the temps or with the just the next element is becomes equal equal to 10 plus uh, next element then we will be directly adding up that element to the temp so that we could check for the next element and we will be incrementing the length as we would be breaking out from this particular loop so that it could easily help us with the reduction of uh, time complexity now comes the next part that at every moment of time we will be basically um, updating that answer basically the length because at every moment whatsoever would be the maximum length that we will be taking and at the end we will be returning answer so here you can see that time complexity although is n square but the test cases in this context were that much that it was able to pass the n square solution and the space complexity for this particular question is basically order of 1 only so this was all for this particular question and the thing which this is coming it is because of the fact that lead code just went down and it was not able to pass the solution here you can see i02 that k3 so that's the thing only as it is a septic solution only so this was all for this particular question and one more information i would like to give you actually newton school is coming up with some coding competition from this uh, month only for that purpose you would be able to find that link in the description below and from there you can figure out with every detail for the same so the thing would be that you can do more practice the thing is that on the lead code weekly challenge then lead code bi weekly challenge because bi weekly are just bi weekly only right so the uh, newton school contest you could uh, do much more practice and that will be much more helpful to you so you could figure out with that link in the description and find more details for the same so yeah this was all for this particular question so hope you like this explanation if you like it then please do like and subscribe to my channel and do share with your friends so this was all thank you